Just above the Holton Bridge, still in the Oakmont area, lies 12 Mile Island. It's a middle of the river refuge for some people. Only now, their homes were flooded. And a runaway barge was left high and dry on the tip of the island. The lower end of the town is still underwater and the problem we have now is that it's frozen over. In Freeport, Armstrong County, still further up the Allegheny. The high rise we did evacuate last evening. The senior citizens who lived there had to spend the night in a church before going home Saturday afternoon. Feeling all right? Oh, yeah. Kind of an exciting night, I guess. Yeah, I don't want another one. Back at Three Rivers Stadium, local, state, and national leaders had just gotten back from a helicopter tour. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Ridge and United States Senator Arlen Specter among them. It's a devastating sight. I mean, you know, a couple weeks ago I was down here to watch... Uh, uh, the Steelers clinched the championship, and uh, we walked back through the point. You can't find the point now. I want to update the river situation. While it has crested here at the point, uh, and things are going down on the Allegheny upriver as well as the Monongahela River, uh, the situation has not resolved itself. Moving up the Mon River now from the point. That's the Parkway East, I-376 outbound from the city. Near the top of your screen, what looks like a canal full of brown water, that's the inbound lanes of the parkway. The parking lots below the highway also underwater. You can see on the map, the Monongahela River actually flows north towards Pittsburgh. We're now traveling from Pittsburgh towards the bottom of the map, actually upstream, stopping at communities along the Mon, like West Homestead. You're now looking down on Sandcastle, the popular water theme park. In the summertime, those water slides will splice you down into crystal blue pools. But for now, the slides bottom out in the muddy brown Monongahela River. McKeesport, where the Yakagani pours into the Mon. This is Harrison Village, home to about 300 people. Those who didn't get out in time ended up on an island. Their only escape by boat. I didn't think we was going to get this house, so we just stayed in there. Just to see what it's all about. It's been a long time. I remember when I was a kid from the last time in 72. So we came out like everybody else and see what it is. Hey, Randy, on the other side of the pool, up four. Up four. <laughs> like a skating rink. Really bad. That's how it looked in another part of McKeesport, Walnut Street. First, it flooded. It just came all at one time. And then it froze, forcing some business owners to shut down. As for people who didn't move their cars in time, well, they wouldn't be driving anywhere anytime soon, at least not until everything thawed out. No doubt years from now, some kids in McKeesport will remember the day the streets turned to ice. Others will remember a temporary shelter at the high school gym, somewhere to pass the time with their parents on that bitter cold day when the flood came. What do you guys think of being evacuated from your homes? How is it? You having fun? No. No? Yeah. No. No, it's terrible. I'll tell you that now. Um, they woke us up about 4 o'clock in the morning, and <laughs> everything was just going wrong. All the people could do was wait for the all clear and catch a precious few hours of sleep until it was safe to go home. Continuing south now along the Mon, along the riverbank in the Glassport area. The damage to businesses visible from the air.
At the southern tip of Allegheny County, Elizabeth on one side of the Monongahela River, West Elizabeth on the other side, two low-lying communities, neighborhoods that once bordered the river, now part of it. My mom and grandmother live here. A few towns away, upriver in Washington County. And they've been here all their lives, and they just don't want to move. Monongahela, the city named for the river. The water was already receding along Route 88. That's Main Street to the locals in Mon City. And it runs right through the heart of town. The people in these basement apartments wouldn't be going home anytime soon. And it wasn't just the Mon River causing trouble in Monongahela. Pigeon Creek overflowed its banks, too. This is Cox's Grocery Store, a landmark on the outskirts of town. Nearby homeowners also had their work cut out for them. Community leaders, back from a tour of the Mon Valley. What's the hardest hit spot of, uh, of Washington County? Uh, Monongahela, Charleroi, Roscoe, um, California. West Brownsville. West Brownsville was devastated with this. As you can see from these images from other towns along the Mon. The situation has not resolved itself at all as we head on to the west on the Ohio. John Burdett's in the Weather Center. Back in Pittsburgh, forecasters were now focusing their attention downstream. The Ohio River, formed by the Mon and the Allegheny, had not yet crested at some location. As we head west from the point, you'll see how the Ohio left its mark that Saturday. Neville Island, just downstream from Three River Stadium. and Glenfield Borough, a tightly knit neighborhood now up to its floorboards in the Ohio. These are our friends in such a small town. Everybody knows everybody. And it's like, no matter how bad it is for you, it's worse for somebody else down the street. Or for someone else down the river as we continue away from Pittsburgh on the Ohio. Flooded. The mill was flooded. We had an explosion. Our F2 furnace uh, exploded. That's what happened when floodwaters met molten metal at the Hussey Copper Plant in Leedsdale. Everyone hustled to keep the water away from other furnaces. The water's rising fast and stuff on it, and as soon as it hits that, we may have another explosion here, so we're getting back out of the way right now. But it wasn't the explosion and fire that caused injury. It was the icy water, frigid and downright dangerous when it filled up the firefighters' boots. This bird's eye view of the Ohio will show you the power of runaway barges. A lock and dam can only stop so many. You can imagine what it took to clear the wreckage. <laughs> 